glutathione. Now, who has not heard of that word before tonight? There's still a lot of people raising your hands. It wasn't that long ago where I would go give a lecture to a couple hundred people and maybe there was a handful of folks putting up their hand. But I guarantee you this, that in the next five or six years, everybody will be using the word glutathione as commonly as you use the word antioxidant, as commonly as you use the word cholesterol. As of the present date, there's over 65,000 65,000 articles on glutathione. Every time I open up a medical journal, every time you open up a health magazine, you are going to hear about glutathione. So get very used to that word. What is glutathione? It's a, again, it's a small little protein made up of three amino acids. And you all have glutathione in your body already. What does glutathione do? But when I speak to a medical audience, I'll have a, a PowerPoint uh, presentation and show you 20 or 30 different things that glutathione does on an intracellular level. But tonight, if you can remember just three things, then we've done our job in educating you. And the way to remember the three things, the three most important things that glutathione does in your body is to remember the word aid. A I D. Not AIDS. Applications in AIDS, but AID. A stands for antioxidant. Who's heard of antioxidant? Uh, everybody's heard. It's a patronizing question, but the reason why I ask it is to make a point. If I would have asked you 30 years ago, maybe there wouldn't have been a few people raising their hands. But now everybody's heard of antioxidants, so you would think that given the importance of antioxidants in so many health issues that your body would make its own antioxidant and in fact it does the most important antioxidant the most abundant antioxidant the most active antioxidant that you make is glutathione and this is one of the reasons why if you look at the literature you see glutathione described as the master antioxidant the other reason why it's called a master antioxidant is, get this, none of the other antioxidants that you mentioned, none of the other antioxidants that you're going to find at a health food store or a pharmacy, none of them could work were it not for the presence of glutathione. You said AID, let's move on to I, the immune system. Another hot topic. Are you able to pick up a newspaper these days without reading something about the immune system. You're reading about Ebola, you're reading about West Nile, you're reading about the avian flu, you're reading about all these wonderful bugs that are making themselves into our population. Your immune system is set up to protect your body from anything that's supposed to, that's not supposed to be in your body, what we call a foreign antigen. And a foreign antigen could be a bacteria, it could be a virus, it could be a fungus, uh, uh, it could be many different things that aren't supposed to be in your body. Your immune system is set up to prevent that from happening. If you start running low on glutathione, your ability to fight off an infection becomes blunted. And when you look at glutathione and the way people write about glutathione, they describe glutathione literally as fuel or food for these critical white blood cells, fuel for the immune system. So that's A, glutathione, your master antioxidant. I, glutathione, fuel for your immune system. And finally, D, detoxification. And by no accident, the highest levels of glutathione that you have in your body is in your liver, which after all is your major organ of detoxification. It's responsible for getting rid of things that you're exposed to every minute of every day. Break down products of cigarette smoke, automobile exhaust, heavy metals like lead and mercury, pesticides and herbicides, and a long list of carcinogens. Things, uh, carcinogens are cancer-causing agent, things that show up in the water that you drink, the air that you breathe, and the food that you eat every day. And I tell people that next to water, next to water, there's no more important detoxification substance in your body. 
when you understand the importance of glutathione in each and every single cell of your body, you'll understand why this is so critical to maintaining your health. Thank you very much for your attention.